Hey, hey everybody and welcome back. So we are doing our last cash envelope stuffing and paycheck breakdown for July. So in here, we're only gonna be stuffing the ones that we either keep in cash or that a bill that we pay in cash. So we're gonna go ahead and flip on over to July and go to our paycheck breakdown sheet here and see what we had come in. So James's check came in at 9.36 and 54 cents and then there was no other income. So that's what we're working with. Okay, all right, so we're making Go ahead and making sure everything's added up in here correctly and then we'll stuff our envelopes so the cars needed 184 rent and groceries are both getting the 120 to finish funding them gas is going to be getting 90. allstate and nope just allstate needs 60. not all states utilities need 60. Allstate only needs 52 to finish funding that one. And then for AT&T, we need 54. All right, and then these are still fully funded. For spending, we are adding a 30. Sinking funds, we're putting 150. Savings, we were putting in 20. Debt, 50. And then the cushion, $6 we left in the account. All right, so that totals us the 936. All right, so with this being the last week, I will go through and add up paycheck one through five, make sure our totals, our numbers here end up, and then make sure all of these were fully funded to the right amount and see how much we are able to put towards our other categories at the bottom here. So I will do that off camera, but we're gonna set this to the side pull out our 52 agenda, lay out our bills, and stuff our envelopes that we need to stuff. Okay, so be right, one sec. All right, so there's all of our bills laid out. Let's go ahead and stuff our few categories, make sure we fund, fully funded them. So rent, we needed a 120 to finish it up. So 120, let's see. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. Perfect. So I can go pay the rent. Um, groceries is next at 100, is 120 as well. And this should also end with one or 600. Ugh, words, numbers. One, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. And I go based off of Jordan Page with $100 per person starting at $200 for a family of two. So we're six, so $600. And normally we're pretty good about staying right around that area. Less than is better, but we get wipe it out sometimes, but that works. Gas we've already deposited to get ready for August. Utilities the same. Allstate we keep in cash until the week before it comes out of the account, just so that way we don't think we have it to spend. And that is 52, so 50, one, two. Make sure we have our full amount here. All right, so we have 50, one, 50, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290. Okay, hold on, okay. So we have one, 20, 40, 60, 82, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2. So that's correct. 50s always get me. Anybody else? Always. It never fails. AT&T is in the account to pay. Storage, student loans, and pest control are ready to be paid. All right. Miscellaneous is fully funded. Spending. We are going to add 30. So 20, 30. All right. So we have... 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we have 160, so we'll get, my head is not doing math today and it's funny. Okay, so we'll each get 20, 40, 60, 70, $80. Did I say the right number? Yeah, that's right. So we'll have $80 for the month of August for James to spend and $80 for me. So that is great. All right, so those are all of the ones that are in here that we are gonna be stuffing. Set that one to the side. Move over to our debt and savings, see where we're at. 
So for debt, we are adding 50. So let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, ten, eleven. So nine hundred and eleven dollars in our debt snowball right now. So we only need eighty-nine dollars to hit our thousand dollar debt goal that we like to throw towards at one time. So that is great. We have our twenty that's going into savings, giving us now eighty dollars into savings. And this savings here goes towards our emergency fund um, to build that up a little bit at a time. Um, so at the end of each month, I try to pull this out and add it into our emergency fund in the account. That way we're building it up because we have it in a savings account. So it kind of builds a little interest on it. Not much, but enough to add to it, you know. Um, but there's that. So those are the two from here. Uh-oh. this. There we go. All right, next up, sinking funds. So we're gonna add money into there and then y'all are gonna see a whole video of me taking all the money out and reallocating it to start fresh for August. So we're gonna go ahead and stuff them now and then I'm gonna switch them up, but we are adding 150 into sinking funds. First up, birthdays, we are putting $20. Okay, so adding 20. Okay, let's see. Car maintenance, we are adding 21. 20 and 1. Okay. And then for the last one, all of the rest of this is going to go into dance. So that should be 109. Let's count it. We have 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 109 going into our dance. For Miss Alexis. I'm really hoping to get the boys into something, but the twins are still too young for like Boy Scouts, and then the other places I've tried calling won't ever call me back, and I'm just like, ugh, nothing. <laughs> but this should, hopefully, I think it fully funds, but let's check. So we have one, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, 60, uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So $680, and that will pay for her full tuition for the whole year, so I don't have to do like a month-to-month -month payment, as well as hopefully enough in there to purchase the shoes that she'll need for the dance that she's doing for this coming year, because she's doing different than she did last year. So hopefully that's enough to cover shoes. If not, we'll add a little more to it to pay for shoes. But... There's that. So that's the last one we're stuffing. Um, I'm gonna go through and wipe a lot of, I'm gonna wipe every single one of these out and reset the whole sinking funds starting for the last six months of the year. Uh, I'm gonna get that video up. If it's not already up, if, if it is up, I will link it down below in the description box. Um, but stay tuned if you haven't checked that out, check it out. But I'm super excited, but yay. All right. So that's all. We have our sinking fund stuffed. We are so close to hitting our thousand on our debt snowball, which is always fun. And our bills have been fully funded for the month of August. So we are looking really good. I can't wait to see what August has in store because September will be another five week pay period. So that's always a fun month to have. But I really hope that y'all enjoyed this paycheck breakdown and cash and a lot stuffing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the Etsy shop. Um, check out any videos in my playlist. Um, lots of videos going on in there, so stay tuned, but I really hope that y'all enjoyed, and I can't wait to catch y'all on the next one. Bye-bye now.